Yes, yes, people, how are we doing? The time has finally come. I am back in Berlin, mate. If you are familiar with my channel and you've seen the last time I came to Berlin, you'll probably know that it was my favourite trip, probably that I've ever been on, definitely my favourite trip of last year. A bit different this time, I'm here by myself, this is my first sort of attempt at a bit of solo travel, which is kind of surreal to be here without the boys, because they're sort of part of what made being here so good last time. And I think I have somewhat romanticised Berlin in my head since then because of how good that trip was. There is no real plan, to be honest, I have literally no idea what I'm going to do while I'm here. I kind of wanted to just wander around and get lost a bit. I've got I watched a couple of videos on the plane on the way over, so I have like some things that I kind of want to check out, but there's no set like plan of, oh, I'm doing this on this day and this on that day. We're just going to wing it. Uh, I can check into my hotel in about 15 minutes, so let's head over and do that. I'm sort of trying to get there without using a sat nav, because it's one of the places that we stayed last time. I'm pretty sure it's very close by to here. I can sort of half remember where it is, I think one of those buildings maybe that's the central station there so i think it's maybe down that road okay so i've just checked into the hotel it is the intercity hotel Hauptbahnhof. like i say we stayed here last time i didn't intentionally book here just because we stayed here last time it just turned out to be one of the cheaper options and i thought given that I know it's good and I know it's a really good central point because of it being so close to the station. Um, it's a really good hub to get to anywhere else in the city from here. It's currently 20 past three. Apparently it goes dark at like half four or five o'clock. So I do want to make the most of the daylight. The plan for now is to quickly freshen up and head back out. I'm not gonna go too far. I'm gonna save that for the other few days that I'm here, but I'm gonna catch a train, I think, one stop that, that way to Friedrichstrasse and just have a wander around there. Also, throwback to the last German vlog. I drank so much of this last time I was here. It's Club Matt, I don't know if that's gonna focus. It's Club Masse. It actually tastes weirder than I remember it tasting. I don't know how I drank so much of it last time. It's still nice, like, but it was uh, an absolute essential. It's the first thing I did when I got off the train. So most of this trip is gonna be about doing things that I didn't do last time I was in the city. However, this evening, because I haven't got a plan really, I thought before I get food, I would just come and visit somewhere a bit nostalgic. As I was coming into the city before, as we passed Friedrichstrasse station, I noticed something that just like down, just out the windows down the river a bit. I was like, that looks familiar, man. So I got the train back after I'd been to the hotel, found this spot where we had a particularly vibey time until the early hours of the morning. Last time I was here, can't see dick all down here to be honest. All that matters is it's vibey. The Vibenstein. Vibenstein, man. Vibenhagenhoven. And it's still as idyllic as it was last time. Fucking idyllic, man. Look at this. That's the money shot right there. Like, I love the way that get these ripples on the water of the lights makes it look like a painting and yeah so last time we just sat down here for like hours on end chatting absolute shit but it's probably one of my fondest memories of being here so i think i'm just gonna take there's a fucking boat going past that's well loud i think i'm just gonna take a walk along the river here for a bit see what i find and then Maybe try and find somewhere to eat. We're still kind of central. We as it used to be with other people. I'm still kind of central. If you look like down there, that, all those lights, like uh, restaurants and stuff. But I kind of don't want to go there because I feel like they're going to be the spenny, like touristy places. Don't want to try and walk a bit further away. Maybe that way because that looks nice. Come 
currently on Museum Island, and yes, I did eat all of that pizza. I surprise even myself sometimes. According to the guy that worked in that restaurant, Berlin tends to favour cash over cards, which I don't remember that being an issue last time. Maybe I just had more cash last time. I've got more cash with me, I just didn't have, didn't have it on me. Like, it feels a lot later than it is. I think over the next few days, I'm gonna try and get up early-ish. And sorry for this blues guy in the background. It's quite good, actually, it's better. Get up early-ish and make the most of the daylight. Cause like, it's cool in the dark, but it's very moody. I'm just gonna wander around here, really. Look at other cool shit like that. And then head back to the hotel for an early-ish night. I've been up since well early for the flight, and I also slept like shit last night. So, I'm gonna try and rectify that so I'm good for the rest of this trip. Good morning, people. It is my first full day in Berlin. The plan for this morning is to head up towards Meyer Park, Meyer Park, don't quite know how you pronounce it, but there is a really cool flea market up there of Sunday. I'm also going to try and grab some breakfast while I'm down that end because it looks like there's a few cool cafes out there. And then this afternoon I'm thinking I might try and hit up a museum. Jamie did recommend the Checkpoint Charlie Museum, so I might head there. I'm just going to see what I'm feeling really. Let's get about the day. <laughs> This smoothie place really. I don't know if it's paid off, mate. It's got loads of stuff in it. It's like cacao, coconut, matcha, almond, avocado. I think the matcha is what's doing it, man. I'm not a big matcha guy. It's basically the cafe that I was gonna go for breakfast. Just had a massive queue outside it. I couldn't be asked waiting. It's sound enough, like, I'll drink it. Let me show you the absolute Euro scenes that I am experiencing right now, though. Look at this. <laughs> Decided against buying anything. There was some cool vintage clothing stalls, but I've only got a rucksack with me to take stuff back. That's not ideal. What I am going to do though is go and get some food because it looks great. That food was pretty good. I happened to notice when I was getting off the tram before that there is a section of the Berlin Wall that's still intact just down there. And there's a sort of walk you can do that goes along the line of where the wall once stood. Apparently, I've just been reading one of these information points here. This is one of the first openings that was made when the wall was being torn down in the 80s. So I'm going to follow this path and see what we find. I'm going to stop at a couple of these information points on the way. I'll let you know if there's anything interesting or worth knowing. that go over to the other side is actually the site of a tunnel like an escape tunnel that was dug under the wall which ran right along here considered with the wall is that obviously there were tunnels that go underground for like the subway system and the sewage and they had to be blocked off as well as building a wall overground. Apparently people would use the sewage systems to try and escape so they had to put big grates over the tunnels and also the trains that would go from east to west would never stop at west and a lot of the train stations were actually closed. So I've just gone for a walk around a place called Tiergarten and it's just gorgeous man, proper like autumnal like 
Look at all those orange, oranges and greens. The reason I wanted to come here is because there is a monument here. That big thing that I didn't really get to see last time. I saw it from like very, very far away. But I'm gonna go check it out. I think you can go up to the top of it. I don't know if you have to pay to get in. Uh, but I'm gonna scout that out and let's, let's see what's what. So it's kind of like the Arc de Triomphe in Paris where you have to take a tunnel under the roundabout to get there. Okay, that was sick. I would 100% recommend doing that. When I went to Paris, I said that going up the Arc de Triomphe was the best way to see like the city skyline because it's got the Eiffel Tower in the skyline. This is the Berlin equivalent of that because you can see the TV tower. If you go up the TV tower, you can't see it. It's only four euros to get in as well, which is really cool, and the view is unreal. What I will say, though, is that if you've been to the Arc de Triomphe, you'll know that because it's an arc, there's one stairway up and one stairway down. That is not an arc. It's a very thin column, so there's only one staircase. And it's a spiral staircase, and it's a long way up, so you sort of have to like, shimmy past people that are coming down. Even my legs were going a bit wobbly, but I would still 100% recommend that. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put the, the name on the screen now. So now I'm going to head to Kreuzberg to try and find somewhere to eat. See you in a bit. So I ended up eating at this little Japanese restaurant called Miso, Misu. It was sick, you know. I was basically thinking what's a good way to find places to eat because I think in a city, obviously, of this size, there's like so much choice. So I just literally Googled like best Berlin neighborhood for food and it gave me Kreuzberg as the top answer. And I remember like when I was seeing it, I was like, oh yeah, no, I've, I've heard people talk about that. Like I think I've heard Jamie mention Kreuzberg. And as soon as I got off the train, I was like, fuck it, I've been here before. Like, I don't know what it's like in the daytime. I've only ever been when it's dark. But in the dark, it looks like a fucking hole, man. And there's a lot of places to eat there, but it's like, it's not like a load of dead nice restaurants. It's like fast foody type places. It's very multicultural, which is sick. But I don't know, man. I just, uh, it's not my favorite, my favorite ends. However, I did manage to find that little Japanese place. I had a really nice katsu. It's been a sick day, though. My average steps is usually like, 5,000, 6,000 on a lazy day, maybe seven or eight on like a particularly active day. That won't focus, but look at that. You see that? 22,000. Anyway, enough waffling. I am gonna hit the sack and I'll catch you tomorrow. Yo, so upon editing this, I've decided that rather than make one long video that people are only gonna watch half of, it's probably better for me to make two shorter videos that people are probably still only going to watch half of. So I'm going to be posting part two of the Berlin trip literally like a day or two after this part goes live. So if you're seeing this, there's a good chance it is already live on the channel. And if not, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be made aware of when the new video drops. Hope to see you in part two. Peace.